Assessment of the new curriculum is quite different from what we've grown to know and use over the last 10-15 years. The essential difference is there's no levels anymore. This isn't a curriculum where we expect some children to get so far and others to go a bit further. This is a mastery curriculum where all children are expected to know and apply and understand all of the stuff that is prescribed for each um, year group or uh, working scientifically it's prescribed over two years and that is I think really exciting because it, we're not going to be putting levels or artificial barriers on children we're not going to be saying oh well these will only get this far we're going to say they're all going to get it and actually what it is they're going to get is quite good you know there's good stuff in there it's demanding it's challenging it's exciting and so that is the key difference no longer will we be saying these are my level threes will be saying all of the children have achieved this and that's what the expectation is that we need to enable all children to access and achieve the program of study for that's been prescribed for them um, and schools are actually free to use their own approach to monitor that because they will need to be able to check within a school whether children are meeting the expectations whether they are covering the curriculum whether they're achieving it and schools have been given a carte blanche actually to find their own way to do that and to record it and Ofsted will use whatever assessment information the school provides. So that offers an enormous amount of opportunities, it's also slightly daunting when before we've always had very sort of prescribed ways of being able to judge children's progress. So this I think takes us back, it puts a lot of, um, it means teachers professional judgement becomes key it becomes important that we actually have a, have a clear understanding of what it looks like for a child to understand that, how they will represent that, may represent understanding or express it and be able to know when that happens. And that's a really, I think, a really good opportunity because it takes us away from saying, did they do this on a particular day in this format? It gives us the chance to look over time at a, at a variety of children's work, be it written work, drawings, oral work, how they, how they manipulate equipment, how they set up investigations, how they um, analyse data. So it offers enormous amounts of potential.